So, a um, little unusual one today. Very small one, because when you order these things, they look at least twice the size of uh, what they are on online. Um, this is a little Chinese push lock, and it's kind of unique. I'm sure a lot of you may know how they work already. Um, it has a little key like this, and it's pushed into the lock, like so, and the lock opens. I'll show you quickly how this works. Very basic. Little clip on there made out of sprung steel. The key slides over it like so and presses the tongs in, allowing it to slide out. Now, when I got this lock, straight away, I popped the key in it. I pushed it out about this far. First thing I did was to slide the key on and close it again because that's the way I like to learn how to do things. I didn't really know what was in it, but I soon figured it out by poking around. And um, I'm gonna show you how to do it, just to save you a bit of time if you've got one of these that you're trying to get into on a cabinet or something. Don't need to hold it in here, but just for the ease of having a spare hand, I'll pop it on here. Now, Obviously, the hardest part about it was figuring out what mechanism what mechanism was in it. But after I did, I used any two random picks. These are Sparrow's Maze picks. Slide one down that side. One down this side. This is a hook pick. It gets a bit more caught up on stuff. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is separate the ends of these two picks, which will in turn push the tip ends together hopefully depressing those springs and allowing it to slide out. I'll just put my finger between them like that. And there it goes. So very quick and basic video there today, but something a little unique. It's been sat on my shelf for quite a while. I didn't think about it until I saw a post on Facebook about something similar today. So I just thought I'd get down and show you. Oop, by the way, there we go. Thanks for watching.